All right, this is part two. Welcome. This is mission 97. Le um, picking up where we left last left off. So basically, uh, it would seem Arasai is on her period, and she's screaming in the mic. Thanks for helping Wait, us. Wait, no, I just we did came this. To save these okay, no, I uh, did this already. No, damn it. All right, one moment. Into the next room. There we go. Anyway, as I was saying, um, yeah. It, as I said in the very first episode for the character creation, the community isn't all that great. I mean, it was at one time, but uh, I don't know. It's just my opinion anyway. I wouldn't just speak for me. Don't shoot! I need your help. And these, only these guys look like enforcers. I think you can trust them. Do you have any med kits? The White Crow could be back any second. Sergeant Krell, 2nd Platoon, Charlie Company. We were evacuating some civilians when Master's thugs opened fire on us. We got scattered. Do you have any medical supplies? Uh, I'll explain these guys later. Just click on it, press 2, or click it. There we go. Shit. We've got hostiles incoming. I need your help to fight them off. So that's your basic support, uh... Uh... Ability, uh, not to mention you can heal yourself. Oh, hello. Out of there, partner. I know, Sailor. Damn it, kill. Alright. Alright, so that part's done. Uh. Thanks for the help. We'll try to link up with the other enforcers, then get the hell out of here. I suggest you escape before the Chota tear this place down. We're the soldiers who held this place together after the rest of the world went to shit. I've seen what's outside. Raiders, mutants, and people living in caves. We kept law and order alive here in the dam. Now Alec Masters has screwed all of us. Alec Masters has been burning Chota villages since I was a kid. He started a damn crusade against the Chota decades ago, after some of their assassins killed his father. Masters called it a preventative war. Said he was fighting the Chota to keep them from coming here. The truth is, he just wanted revenge, and now we have to suffer for it. Alright, that's one part done. Uh, loot these guys and see if I can't find anything. Check any mission. I know it's dead. I'm not touching it. Oh. It's against the rules of the apocalypse. Or something. And then instantly there were rules in the apocalypse. <laughs> Citizens, the dam will not fall. Prepare to die with honor. <laughs> Aerosai's got a bomb in the motor pool. I'll run things from here, but you have to disarm that bomb. Otherwise, everyone in the dam is dead. Oh, yeah. You can, sneaking works, so. There is sneaking in here. Okay, now we have to get to the rear. Ah! Damn it! Oh, hell, they're coming in! Listen, clone, I got those two, but there's more coming. You've got bomb out of the dam before it... All right, yeah. Hey, over here. But move this out of the way. Here we go. Never thought I'd be happy to see a clone. Yep, sorry for skipping that. Wasn't thinking. The bomb's right below us. I'll lead you to it. But basically, it's just a bomb in the motor pool, and you gotta take it out of here. Not that hard to figure out. Okay. Oh, wait. The bomb's right there in the ATV. See those barrels? They're full of toxic waste. Now take a look at the ceiling. See that? This room pumps air to most of the dam. If those barrels break open, everyone in the dam is dead. You've got to get the bomb away from the barrels. All right, there we go. All 
either's yeah. Ah oh, shit! Underdwellers! <laughs> Delicious Ray. No, die. Yeah, took yourself. Go away, please. Thank you. Good job. Now get on that ATV and drive it into the vault. Have fun. All right, so yeah, this is the most most basic vehicle besides the horse you can get. Oh damn it! No. Ah. And I'm not exactly experienced in driving these things. I think each kind of vehicle has their own little handling. And boot. It's like climatic. Okay, there's a cutscene. I gotta shut it now. Welcome to LifeNet, a product of Global Tech. If you're seeing this, you are dead. But don't worry, with LifeNet, death is just a minor setback. You may be feeling confused, disoriented, or even a little scared. It's understandable. You just had your vigorous, happy life interrupted by... Explosion! Please, accept our condolences. But no more dwelling on the past. Right now, LifeNet is reconstructing your body. Thanks to our patent, physical fitness will... The magic of rebirth happens inside LifeNet's patented regeneration pods. It's a simple orbit, finest, refined, and your perfectly cloned body comes out. You've also been fitted with a wireless neural scanner, providing dynamic syncing between your brain and the LifeNet database. Your memories will be... But wait, there's more! In? Clone, can you hear me? It's Elena Winters. Your stunt with the ATV saved the dam. It's thanks to you I'm alive to have this conversation. Even so, the battle took its toll. The dam fell to the Choda. The Choda got revenge on Alec Masters, but not before he added one last entry to his list of sins. Masters destroyed the LifeNet core the mainframe for all the cloning chambers in the province. This has changed everything. LifeNet's creators never planned for this. They dreamed LifeNet would end the limits of a single lifetime and save humanity from its fear of death. Masters showed us the truth. People are afraid of death, but even more afraid of losing control. He sacrificed you and every other clone to keep anyone else from having access to immortality. So I did what I could. I rerouted your DNA through the auxiliary computers in the province, but it wasn't easy or quick. It's been four years since you died saving the dam. The destruction of the core damaged the backup storing your DNA. Worse yet, your future cloning potential has been compromised. You're dying, and I don't know how much time you have. Once you die, you stay dead, just like the rest of us. There's one way to fix this. You have to find the alpha clones whose DNA makes up the LifeNet database. If you can integrate their undamaged DNA with your own, you can undo what Masters did and restore your immortality. The only clue I've found points to the LifeNet facility near Embry Crossroads. There's a LifeNet technician there who can explain the alpha clone's location. You're about to wake up in a LifeNet station the computer there will let you choose where to begin your new life. Remember what I told you. You're special. You were created to be immortal. LifeNet can give you back what Master stole from you. Don't forget that. And don't forget me.